Wildfire smoke and the pollution that comes with it has been a major weather story all year. And Climate Central has a new report on how big the problem is and how air quality is being impacted. So Lauren Casey is a meteorologist and climate expert at Climate Central. Lauren, thanks so much for making time for us. Thanks for having me. Well, Lauren, this has been an unusual year in that uh, we've had fewer acres burnt than any of the past 10 years for the United States specifically, but we had that horrible event in Hawaii and north of the border, it's been off the charts bad. So what factors combine to make wildfire smoke so dangerous this year and how does this compare to others? This year, 2023 was a record year for wildfire smoke, and that was due mainly to the wildfires burning in Canada. They had a record year this year, and we saw a lot of that smoke build into our atmosphere and affect our air quality at the surface for many locations, especially during the summer months. And this week, the story cropped back up into the news here as uh, Florida had a taste of Canadian wildfire smoke. Uh, Hillsborough County had uh, an air quality alert. So what factors contribute to the movement of wildfire smoke from Canada into so much of the U.S.? Yeah, we have the jet stream. The jet stream are those fast upper level winds and they can drive that wildfire smoke thousands of miles, in some cases, all the way across the Atlantic to Europe. And then it gets mixed down to the lower atmosphere by several different atmospheric processes, turbulence, subsidence, mixing to impact our air quality down towards the ground and potentially harm human health. So what areas of the U.S. have experienced the worst air quality? According to our analysis, in the western U.S., where we often see the most active wildfires, they were largely impacted by smoke pollution, but it wasn't just concentrated there. In fact, parts of the southeast saw over 100 wildfire smoke days on average. And the date of record period goes from 2006 to 2020. And uh, Lauren, what's been the impact? Is this a temporary health concern or uh, does this lead to longer term air quality damage in some areas? Wildfire smoke is a mix of pollutants, but about 90 percent, it's made up of fine particle pollution, which we refer to as PM 2.5. It's teeny tiny, 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. And when that PM 2.5, those particles get into your lungs, it can cause serious damage. Anything from ranging from irritation to just more complicated concerns impacting your heart, impacting your lungs, and potentially even premature death. And finally, how can this change or what could reverse this trend? What can stop this trend, firstly, is we need to dramatically reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and our emissions into the atmosphere. Climate change is just exacerbating these fire weather conditions and allowing for the smoke to penetrate into skies all across the U.S. and impacting human health in myriad locations. All right, Lauren Casey, meteorologist and climate expert at Climate Central. Thanks again, Lauren. Thanks so much.